Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out our next optional bug fix C release update to the release preview channel Insiders um, late yesterday in my part of the world on the 20th of May, where our next update is undergoing its final testing before it rolls out to the stable channel. And uh, if we don't get the update rolling out later this week, I would strongly suggest that it would start rolling out on the 28th um, next week, Tuesday, the 28th of May, 2024. Now, for our optional bug fix update um, that's going to be running out shortly for May, there are no new features. It's really a bug fix update and includes nine bug fixes. And I've just pulled a couple out that you may be interested in, uh, if you would be interested. And obviously, the optional bug fix updates that roll out near the end of every month are just that, they are optional and you don't have to install them. And if you don't install the update when it rolls out, those fixes will be carried over into the Patch Tuesday um, update, the compulsory mandatory security update for the following month. Now, first of all, um, just to mention some of these bug fixes, if you would be interested. The update addresses an issue that affects a Microsoft Entra RD account. Apparently, uh, devices couldn't authenticate the second one. Uh, it addresses an issue that affects a Windows Presentation Foundation WPF app. Apparently, it stopped responding. And the update addresses an issue that uh, displays a hidden window. Apparently, its title bar had no content and no client area. This occurred when you share your screen using certain apps and that um, fix also rolled out for Windows 11. So obviously that um, hidden window area bug um, is across the board on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And uh, we always get a printer fix with the Windows 10 optional updates they rolled out. And this time they've addressed an issue that affects an RPP over USB printer. Apparently after you uh, deleted it, it still appeared uh, it still appears and is not available in control panel. So that's a bit of a little a glitch that's been sorted out there. And then the last one to mention for this video, the update addresses an issue that affects the share button on USB controllers. It might not work with Game Bar, and that's also a fix that rolled out and will roll out for Windows 11. And that's it, guys. Uh, that's the majority of the fixes, um, as mentioned, um, nine in total. And uh, most of the fixes obviously taking place under the hood and we don't get any front facing features. And um, if you do decide to install the update when it, is a made, when it is made available in a couple of days time, if we head over to Winver, which is about Windows, currently the stable version of Windows 10 uh, 22H2, the OS build is sitting on 19045.4412. And when the update rolls out, and if you decide to install it, that point release will be bumped up to 4472 or somewhere in that immediate vicinity. So that's it, guys. A very small bug fix update rolling out with our next optional update, KB5037849, which includes nine bug fixes and no new features. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.